Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the playthrough of Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition. Uh, in between episodes, I quickly checked my footage, recorded footage, because uh, I mentioned in the previous episode I was still wondering why Damir uh, decided to stay behind. And I found the uh, footage from the Caspian, and indeed, uh, in the area where there was like a water tanker that we had to um, uh, steal. There was a cage with two slaves in it. I actually looked at it, and but I was more interested in the dog and the pigs be besides them. I totally forgot to free those slaves. So that is probably the reason why um, Damir stayed behind, which is a bit of a bummer because I really tried to be as thorough as possible. Then another thing is um, I uh, found a collectible here, but that appeared to be the fourth collectible, this notebook, out of all of them. And the third one was not collected yet. So I, luckily I had one save uh, earlier and this collectible I uh, that I missed, I picked it up now. Um, I, d I don't blame myself for overlooking it. It is totally, you could hardly see it. It was in the safe house of that little boy and there was like a big map on the wall with all kinds of little notes uh, 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 stuck to it. And one of those notes randomly was a diary uh, uh, entry or, uh, or a collectible. I think I earlier, I was uh, in the previous episode, I went through that board and I did press the interact button a couple of times and nothing happened. So I'm not sure, but uh, also like around the corner from it, there will also was a postcard and you don't get often collectibles that close together. So first, after finding the postcard, it could be an indication, okay, there will not be anything else here anymore. And second, this collectible, it was in plain sight, but even if you would look at it like from uh, the, 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 the three feet away, you could totally miss it because it really was the same as as other documents besides it, which were not collectibles. It, it really, yeah. Probably if you have the hut turned on, maybe there will be some uh, indication that you can interact with it. But uh, if without a hut, it was hardly possible to recognize it as a collectible. But anyways, now I have it. Orders to Private Klepnikov for the duration of the commander's absence. Private Klepnikov is hereby given charge of the shelter. Besides his regular duties, he is until further notice ordered to one keep the shelter door locked under any circumstances. Check the lock twice when stepping out of the shelter. Two check the mushroom field twice a day, burning any discovered slime to ashes together with affected substrate. It's better to lose one patch than the whole field. Never go to the dirty stations. Four, check and reset. Uh, three, never go to the dirty stations. Four, check and reset the traps at least once in two days. There is no need for the animals to suffer needlessly, even if they are mutants. Uh, yeah, I fully agree with that one. Five, eat the liver. Six, eat the liver, no excuses. Seven, Keep the radio battery charged. Be ready for contact every noon. Half an hour window of opportunity. Eight, cheer up. Lieutenant Colonel Klepnikov. I don't really understand. For the duration of the commander's absence, Private Klepnikov is hereby given charge of the shelter. Besides, it's his duty, so third person... Uh, singular and then uh, whatever he has to do and then it's signed by lieutenant klepnikov like uh, he, he it seems like he wrote these rules himself so why would he then in the uh, first section address it to himself in the third person i have no idea but anywho um Or am I crazy here? Here, Lieutenant Colonel Klepnikov. Ah, that is a colonel. And this is private. So it's also like um, really corrupt. He is giving authority to his son. Very bad. Um, anywho, we are now all good to go. All the diaries 
found up until now so let's continue we have two avenues to go to i can either go over here and probably that's where the the main uh campaign needs us to go but we also have um something underground so let's check that out which would be over there maybe it ends up in the same area i have no idea they are pretty cool monsters these they really look a bit like a little bit ex-human their skin is very human like they totally got mutated all right i am pretty sure that we could encounter some more monsters over here all right there are all kinds of mushrooms over there for the jump scare people again pretty hard to see god damn it Pretty hard to see which ones carry loot and which do not. And wouldn't surprise me if we will encounter some super natural, natural things over here. And again, am I now? supposed to just ran yeah and randomly some of them do carry loot this is very annoying because it almost triggers you to check just all of them so it's just annoying all right there is more But I have no idea where. And we have another graphical glitch over there. Some kind of a black spot on top of the texture. It's throughout the game. Maybe it's something, I have no idea what it is. I wish I was as smart as all the developers and programmers. Fortunately, I am not. All right, enough bullets over there. All right, glad I went down here. All kinds of goodies. Would be pretty cool, by the way, if they... I'm always pretty happy if I find one of these boxes, but if they would just randomly one of the boxes you open it up, the player is unconsciously happy in this harsh environment to get some kind of uh, um, yeah, positive thing going on, finding some goodies, helping them further, and then opening it up and either make something jump out of it, maybe a snake or a spider or whatever. That would be totally unexpected and pretty effective. Uh, to raise people's blood pressure or heart rate. And again, there is something here. Uh, it's just, it's just very annoying. This uh, very, very annoying. Ah, 
Okay, it's also me just overlooking stuff. But that about wraps this one up. Very nice. I was pretty happy to have checked that one out. And what the hell is that? Almost looks like a kind of a plastic metally strip. Not sure what that sign says. Something like mandatory to carry guns in here. Um, I think down below we pretty much checked it out. So let's go to the next area. I don't really hear the um, metal detector pinging anymore. That's a good thing. Probably I'm um, again just overlooking something. Ah, no, by the way, I already have all the postcards. Yes, so I only have four diaries to go. I'm also checking still for postcards, but that's not necessary anymore. No more postcards for me. Here we go. No more kidding around. Thank you very much. Pretty sure we will be fighting Nozalis. That's what I mean. Holy shit. And they are actually quite athletic. Oh man, this really looks like an open area and open areas usually mean getting bum rushed. Which to be honest, I really hate. I hate it when developers here, these Molotovs are not here for nothing. Developers make it artificially difficult. Just throw not three enemies but 30 enemies at you and uh, good luck with it i really hate that kind of level design to be honest or game design i find it really a cheap shot just throw more enemies there and uh, and then it's hard and then there's like a, a curve so to say all right but now i have to make a choice I want to keep what the hell oh man I accidentally dropped my revolver I guess well picking a gun up I'm such an idiot all right anyways then I don't have a choice uh, anymore I can go back for the revolver but I was doubting to um, switch it over for the collage anyways so let's do that let's switch one of these for the collage and see if we can tweak it a bit um, like so and man why is that barrel Super red, glowing red. Not sure whether that's a good thing. Um, yeah, just going with this one. Let's put uh, a laser on it. Yeah, that barrel is still red. What the hell is up with it? Does it mean it's super dirty, probably? Uh, I cannot see its state over here. Maybe I'm going to go back for my 
gun anyways. Problem is... I don't really remember where I picked up that shotgun. I think it was not too far back. It cannot be that far away anyways, because this whole area is not that big. But I don't really trust this barrel and also the dirtiness of this gun. really feels like it may jam on me. I am afraid that finding my gun may be a bit easier said than done. Often it's also a small pistol can be hidden below an NPC's body, so to say, so that you cannot even see it. Clips through the body on the ground. So probably I'm a bit screwed and I'm stuck with this weirdly glowing Kalash. Um, where the hell? I do remember somewhere, I think. to have seen a shotgun that then I apparently accidentally picked up instead of dismantled which is quite annoying and if it was up there I cannot get back there anymore so it could be here but I'm pretty sure I did not pick up a weapon over here Or did I? Did this guy has, have a gun? Yes! Nice! Alright, totally forgot. Alright, I'm just going to go with my trusty revolver. Or shan't I? Let's just check how it shoots. Maybe then the barrel will... Ah, now the barrel is normal again. So it was just a graphical glitch. All right. I do think I have more. Yeah, you know what? I will just keep the Kalash. I do think I have more. Uh, I was fully maxed on assault rifle bullets. And I don't think I was fully maxed on revolver bullets. I think I only had like, I don't know, 40 or 50. And that revolver actually had a pretty high rate of fire. So I could spew, th spew through those pretty quickly. The advantage of the revolver for sure is it has much higher damage output per shot than the Kalash, I think. Alright, I have my Molotovs equipped. I also have some, I think... Um, I think that I do have some grenades as well, but I want to actually save those for possible armored guys that may pop up still, although I'm not even sure whether we will see human NPCs anymore, because this is of course a pretty irradiated city, it's probably not called a dead city for nothing. All right, you know what? I'm delaying the inevitable. All right. Holy 
shit. Here we go. And I don't want to be somewhere where I can be flanked. So I'm going into the corner. Nice! I'm cheating my way out of here. Very nice. I'm stuck in the uh, environment. And I don't care one bit. Come on over, guys. Come on over. Come on over, guys. Woohoo! I'm in invisibility mode here. Probably I will die anyways. But I don't mind. I don't like these kinds of sections anyways. So yeah, I'm teasing my way through it. Ah, oh, there he is. Man, this is an effective gun. Alright, patience is key. I am not luring myself. Somehow I cannot reach them. There he comes, come on over. <laughs> I'm teasing so hard over here. What the hell is over there? All right, that body probably has some goodies. All right, you know what? Here we go. Oh shit, oh. There he is. There he was. Oh shit. A bit afraid of that. Uh, I sure hope it will not be like random spawning, spawning for like an hour. Yeah, that's what I mean. This is random sp in spawn. <laughs> I totally hate, just like the wolves in the taiga. Man, this is annoying. Alright, I don't like this section at all, I can tell you. Literally, endlessly spawning. Please don't. All right, it looks to be a bit more clear. That's nice. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! All right, let's stay here for a sec because I. For sure, want to check out this place for goodies. <laughs> Alright, we can at least get back up there. That's what I wanted. Alright, for the rest, 
is this section is actually pretty cool I must say the whole ambience and stuff and the bomb rush was not that bad those nozalis they're actually not that bad enemies at all pretty easy to take down with this weapon by the way let's create some extra balls No, no shit, I did anyway now. Lucky me, I was afraid of a cutscene, I'm not yet done exploring. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, God damn it. Alright, let's assume there wasn't anything up there anyways. So what do we have here? A lot of mushrooms and some goodies. Looks pretty cool. Somehow reminds me a bit these. Um, yeah, I forgot what they're called, but this effect. Reminds me a bit of Skyrim somehow. The mages' uh, headquarters up in uh, what was it called? Winterhold or something? Such a cool game, by the way, Skyrim. Not even halfway in the main campaign because I got totally off track by modding that game for like two years straight. And then the special edition came out which made like most mods redundant but i actually created one mod myself or two for special edition special edition was much uh, way too saturated in my view like so many modern games people just crank up the saturation and think it's uh, it's next gen and it totally didn't fit anymore in my view with the, the cold, harsh, super beautiful art style of the original uh, Skyrim. So I reverted all the color palettes of the sky, of all the weather types, um, back to what they call Old Rim, the original Skyrim. pretty happy with that mod to be honest and with that mod enabled and also another mod I made to I think have like a dot crosshair it's been a while but you can find them on the Nexus Nexus mod um, yeah and then without a HUD it's also an amazing game should go back to it I actually started the playthrough Damn it, there is still something over there that I forgot. That I cannot get back to anymore, I assume. Let's check it out. Right, am I doing something wrong? Yes, I need to keep it pressed. Right, did that do anything? Hello, hello. Ah! Alright, and now the question is, is this the main path? Yeah, I do think it is, because over here, it actually was cordoned off, I think. Yes, not really any way through there. So it feels a bit like going back where we came from, but yeah, it's the only way out. Because where the hell did we come in? Where did we come in from over there? Where did 
can remember. Yeah, probably I came in from over there. All right, I am uh, was disorientated. This is actually in the logical direction, not the one where we came from. All right, let's assume this is all clear. These texture, yeah, they look a little bit plain to be honest. But this area in itself, wooden, very dark, uh, fragile, it's really cool. Uh, area right, yeah. what am I missing here people right are we encountering NPCs over here almost looks like a human camp nope Ah, and we are hitting a checkpoint, save point, very nice. And that is probably, ah, we actually have to get in a boat. Alright, so this is a good moment in between to end this episode and continue in the next one. Guys, hope you enjoyed, I hope to see you there. For the meantime, do not forget, always do keep on gaming. See you later.